Hi, Will. Thanks, Hi for, uh, thanks for meeting me. No worries. Now, you're obviously one of the more well-known uh, commercial bee breeders in, yep. in the UK. And um, obviously, we can see some of your, uh, your what they call nucleuses here. Yeah. Um, what I was just going to start with was basically, from, from a beginner's perspective, I suppose you've got two ways of, of uh, kind of gathering your first set of bees, which is yeah. either a nucleus or a, or or a swarm. A swarm. Yeah. Can you just kind of give us a little bit more information about the two? Right, well, obviously collecting a swarm of bees, you've really got no idea what you're actually collecting. You're collecting a big ball of bees. Um, you've got a queen, she could be a year old, she could be six months old, she could be five years old. You just really don't know. Right. Plus you've also got the, the added potential for disease risk with collecting a swarm. Um, they, they've come from anywhere, you don't know where they've come from. The yeah. beekeeper might, if they were from a domestic beehive, they may well be there may be a problem there. So, I mean, these nucleus, I mean, can you buy them from, from anyone? Well, in theory, any beekeeper might be interested in selling you a nucleus of bees. I would always suggest getting it from a known source, so uh, a, a prominent member of your local association or from a bee breeder such as myself that has been doing this for a little while and has got a reputation for sen selling even-tempered, friendly, easy-to-manage bees. So you know the temper before you start. Exactly. I mean, I know from, I was very lucky, I took a swarm and a nuke, and it was interesting comparing the temper because my, my feisty hive, as I call it, which was the one which came from a swarm. So, I mean, I know yeah. exactly what you're talking about. But, um, so, I mean, is this what, you know, if a beginner is buying a nucleus of bees, yes, this is ostensibly what they're getting. We're probably the only bee breeder in the UK that offers bees on every frame format. What you're going to see when we open this up will be more frames than the customer would take away with them. The customer okay. is going to take away five frames of covered in brood and stores and bees and a nice healthy young this year's queen. Any good breeder should welcome a customer into his apiary to come and visit the bees, handle his bees before, before paying out good money anyway. Would you recommend the beginner coming along and having a look what they're buying before? Because I mean obviously online you can buy things, you can buy things through papers, but you've got to trust that beekeeper. I mean, would you, you advise people to come along and have a look? A lot of bee breeders would probably uh, shoot me for saying this, but I, I think that a, a beekeeper should go out and visit their bees before right. they shell out good money for them. Well, okay, well, I mean, should we have a little look and just make sure yeah. this <laughs> is, what this you is claim good... is true? Yeah, yeah most, definitely. most definitely. So we think in here we've got a seven frame. We should have six or seven frames. Oh, yeah, um, so give them a little bit of a smoke so, we know, so they know we're coming at least. Uh, we have so, seven frames of commercial bees. A little bit of brace came on the top. Okay, so uh, it's pretty full, isn't it? I mean, how many bees would you expect oh, in, to be on, within on, a nucleus on, on, on a commercial frame, I would expect there to be at least 25,000 bees in here. We would let, basically, those five frames probably go with the queen. Yeah. And the remaining two we'll keep in here. We'll move those to the centre. We'll put a new queen in here and expect them to expand out over the course of the rest of the season. As a beginner, when you start, I and mean, I remember what it was like with me, which was, I took a swarm and it was a big swarm. Yeah. Then I had a nucleus, and the nucleus seemed a little bit more manageable. It seemed a little bit more real. But even so, as a beginner, it's quite a daunting task. I mean, how many hives, how many nuclei should a beekeeper start with when they're starting to learn and begin? I, What's your I, recommendation? I always recommend that beekeepers start with two colonies of bees. Right, um, okay. I, or rather, what I, what I hope a beginner will do is they'll start with one hive of bees, and by the time they come to overwintering their bees, with a bit of luck, they've had to do a, an artificial swarm and they've got two colonies going into the winter. Let's just assume that I'm a beginner and I've taken on a nucleus very early on in the season. I mean, yep. am I going to get, from your five frame nucleus or 18 to 20,000 bees, am I likely to get any honey? Simply, if you take a five frame nucleus of bees from me yep. um, in mid-April, I would expect you to get at least a super or two supers of honey by the end oh, right. of the summer. Okay, so you can do it. Um, it is most definitely doable. If you get your bees mid-June and it's a good long season, I would expect to get a super of honey off them as well. If, they, if, if you're getting a really good, strong, full nucleus, I want to see a lot of bees for your money. So that really comes back to the beginners who are buying that nucleus for the first time coming to see the beekeepers and saying, who are selling what am I going to get? Yeah. What am I getting and, and have a look at it? I mean, one thing I'm obviously noticing here is, I mean, these guys are guys, girls, <laughs> yeah. quote, girls are fantastically calm. I mean, they're, you know, that's lovely. I mean, this, this is pretty much what I want to see from my bees. I but don't what like if you don't? Them. What if, what, you know, I know for a fact my hive, which I, I had from the swarm, were pretty angry. If I wasn't a bee breeder, I'd be phoning around saying, where can I get hold of a new queen? 
Right. Um, because the queen, at the end of the day, she doesn't magically control the temperament of all your bees. Yeah. But her genetics, which she will pass on, and realise that the life of a honeybee in the summer is six weeks or there or thereabouts. Mm -hmm. Within six weeks, every bee in the hive is her bee, is her genetic, yeah. and therefore much calmer. And fairly quickly, within four weeks, you'll see a difference in the change of the temperament of the bees because you're getting a predominance of her young mm. bees in, yeah. in the hive. Um, I can't stand aggressive bees. I mean, I, I just don't like working with them. I, even my commercial honey hives, yeah. if they're not behaving like this, then I'm not interested. Yeah, of course. So last year when I was with, with my hive of very angry bees, I mean, I got very, very close to, uh, to replacing my queen, which mm -hmm. I understand you, I yeah. mean, you can pretty much buy in the post. Oh yeah, we send out queens in the post pretty much daily. From here. <laughs> Poor little things. Um, and and um, they transport, what happens? Uh, Jiffy bag and Royal Mail special delivery. Um, they're sent out in these queen introduction cages. Oh, okay. So we have a section here for the queen and her attendants. Uh -huh. In this section here, there is uh, candy, uh, okay. which is basically so the sugar to feed on. I yep. And again, in this smaller section, so it allows the bees in the colony yep. to eat their way through and introduce themselves to the queen ahead of the queen being able to eat her way out and join the rest of the colony. So the concept of them going in there effectively to introduce themselves is for them to get used to her and act, start to accept her, is that correct? It, yeah, most definitely. You don't want to introduce a queen. I mean, I don't want to pull a queen out here, just sling it in the box, put the lid on. The chances are that immediately the bees are going to go, well, hang on, there's an alien bee in our, in our colony. We'll kill it and destroy it. Yeah. When we send out a mated queen, she will have been proved to have been laying. Yeah. And from a good breeder, the first generation of offspring will have hatched so that we can check that there's no wing deformities, there's no genetic abnormalities, and that she is a good quality queen. The first couple of days, they'll start laying, you know, five, six hundred eggs a day. But certainly within a week, she'll be producing, you know, upwards of 2,000 eggs a day. That's what I heard. I mean, it's phenomenal statistics. Yeah. I and mean, I heard it's even more than, well, pretty much more than their own body weight. Yes. of eggs is being laid per day, which yes, I find is a definitely. phenomenal, phenomenal yeah. uh, number. Thanks, Will. Thanks so much. Very, uh, very, very interesting. I, yeah. I, I wish you luck with all your, uh, your nucleus. Well, there's plenty there. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> no problem.